Hey all you future mommies, if you are watching this video, you are probably around 11 weeks. Congratulations, you are doing great. Thank you for watching this video. We are gonna be talking about your baby's development, the changes your body might be experiencing, common symptoms during your first trimester, what makes you be more comfortable, and what to expect at your next doctor's appointment. And hopefully, I will be covering most of the questions that you might be having at this point in your pregnancy. But first, if you're new here, my name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant and have been specializing in women's health and gynecology for the past 12 years. If you're new here, in the pink means in good health and spirit. So if you like being healthy and happy, click subscribe, cause you're in the right place. So right now you are two months and three weeks pregnant. You are almost out of your first trimester and you only have 29 weeks to go. As for your baby, he has technically moved from the embryo stage to the fetus stage. Now for most of you, this is just medical jargon. And from the moment you conceived, he was always your little baby. He's two inches long right now and he's about as long as a pacifier. He weighs about one quarter of an ounce, which is about the same amount as one and a half pieces of paper. So he doesn't weigh very much, but his organs are now all fully formed and will continue to grow and mature all the way up until he's born. His head is huge compared to the rest of his body and it accounts for about half the length of his body. His fingers and toes are now separated so they are no longer webbed. He also has knees and elbows too. The genitalia are forming, but it's still too early to tell the gender on ultrasound. Usually around 15 or 16 weeks is about the earliest you can tell. However, if you are having a girl, her ovaries have already started to develop. The kidneys and bladder are also starting to function too. The facial features are becoming more recognizable. His ears are starting to take their final shape. His tongue and his palate are forming and even his nasal passages are starting to form. You might also be continuing to feel those cravings. These are normal during your entire pregnancy. With my last pregnancy, I could not get enough live cereal. Interesting though, this pregnancy, I can't start my day without a bowl of grape nuts. It's the strangest thing because before this pregnancy, I hadn't eaten grape nuts since I was a teenager. That's, that's totally my bowl. You're stealing my food. Nobody said you could have that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. For you, if this is not your first baby, you might already feel like you're wanting to pull out the stretchy pants or the maternity pants. But if this is your first pregnancy, you may or may not be starting to notice a small baby bump. My first pregnancy, I didn't notice a baby bump until I was around 14 weeks. With my second pregnancy, however, I felt like I was showing practically the first day that I missed my period. The point is, not everybody shows at the exact same time, so don't stress out about it if you are showing now or if you aren't. Rely on your OB appointments and your ultrasounds to know that your baby is growing well. Don't let anyone else, like that old lady at the grocery store or your mother-in-law or whoever, make you think your body is or isn't growing the way that it's supposed to. And try to remember this throughout your whole pregnancy. I sometimes have patients tell me that they were told they look too small for how far along they are and then they come in all worried. But seriously, it's very common to carry differently. And you've seen it. Some people can really carry high, some carry low, some carry deep. My sister didn't look pregnant till she was like eight or nine months pregnant. She just looked like she'd put on some weight, but didn't have the obvious baby bump. So the way you carry might make you look farther or less along, but how you carry doesn't matter. What matters is your baby measurements and your uterus measurements. So unless your OB says that there's something to worry about, don't worry about it. So if you have an ultrasound at your next appointment, it is one of my favorites. I like to call it the cinnamon bear stage. You can see the head and the body and you can see the little arms and the legs and it seriously it looks so cute, just like a gummy bear. Some OBs do ultrasounds every time you go and some do ultrasounds on certain visits, but they will all do an ultrasound if you are having any symptoms that they are concerned about. So like if you are having any bleeding or contractions or anything like that. So at your next appointment, your doctor might offer testing that you can do in your first trimester to check for certain abnormalities. Now this testing is completely optional. You do not have to feel like you have to do this, but it's important to know what the options are so you can decide for yourself what you would like to do. Now this testing is usually done somewhere in the ninth to the 13th week with a combination of an ultrasound measurement of the back of the baby's neck called nuchal translucency along with blood work. They can help determine your risk of having a baby with Down syndrome, trisomy 19, and spina bifida. There is a test that you can do in your second trimester as well and we'll be talking about that. So be sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss that video. As for you, your body may not look 
a lot different yet, but you are most likely feeling a lot of changes. Two of these changes are not fun, but for most women will be going away in a few weeks. First off, nausea and vomiting. You are probably going through some degree of morning sickness. A while back, I did a whole video on how to help with morning sickness. I'll link to that above, but I also talked a lot about that in week eight and in week 10 videos. So if you haven't seen those yet, be sure to check those ones out. It's got a ton of good information. In fact, if this is your first time to my channel and you haven't seen any of my early pregnancy videos, go check them out. There's lots of good information. You might also feel like you want to sleep 18 hours a day right now, and that's normal for the first trimester. You are making a human being in here, and that's a lot of work. Your body needs that extra rest, so be kind to your body and rest when you need to. Nap when you need to, and go to bed earlier, and sleep in a little bit if you can. The good news is, the first trimester fatigue usually goes away at the end of your first trimester. So by week 12 or 13, most women feel like a million bucks. Fair warning, you do start to feel tired again when you reach the third trimester, mostly because your belly by then is getting pretty big. You will also notice enlarged breasts and they are often more tender. And your areola, which is the dark area around your nipples, will even get darker. You might notice larger veins appearing on your breasts. All this is totally normal. And it's your body's way to prepare for breastfeeding. You might notice increased acid reflux or heartburn. You might also notice some bloating and gas. And you feel this way because the progesterone in your body relaxes the smooth muscle in your intestines, which causes you to feel bloated and gassy. It might also give you some acid reflux, which you can take times for. Coming up is a whole video on common first trimester ailments. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when that video comes out. Tips for this week. In the past videos, I've already mentioned taking your prenatal vitamins daily, drinking plenty of water, getting lots of fiber, and wearing your sunblock. Tip for today, make sure to go to all your OB appointments. Each one is important for different reasons. Unless you have a condition that calls for more, most women will need to go to monthly appointments the first and second trimester. After week 28, you will usually go to every two weeks, and at 36 weeks, you'll start going every week. If you haven't delivered by the time you're 40 weeks, your OB will probably start having you go in twice a week until you deliver. Be sure to go to all your appointments. Ask all the questions you have and follow your OB's recommendations because remember, this video is intended to be for educational purposes only and cannot replace the advice of your own OB. Up next week is week 12 of your pregnancy and you're approaching the last week of your first trimester. So you are about to pass a big milestone. Hey, and if you haven't done it yet, click subscribe, watch for that video, and I will see you over there.